ont agi of intentionally qui intentionnellement causing one's own death qui causer pour yon moun capable mourir intentionally intentionnellement on purpose li fait en but our sister testified tonight li témoigne à soi à son nom about her friend de cent mille that went to sleep one day qui a dormi un jour and didn't wake up et li pas levé But I'm not talking about dying from natural causes. We're not talking about dying from a car wreck or something that was never diagnosed. We're talking about intentionally causing your own death. What causes people qui ça qui cause le monde to commit suicide yo capable fin suicide it's not just for the poor c'est pas juste pour pauvre it's not just for the homeless c'est pas juste pour monde qui pas grand rien it's not just for those that are c'est pas juste diagnosed à ça yo qui gon maladie with some kind of disease avec une sorte de maladie where there's no cure côté pas gain pas gain guérison rich rich poor monde qui pauvre black monde qui noir white monde qui blanc Different nations, different nations, nationalities, nationality have found people that have committed suicide. suicide. One of the people, one person one that has committed suicide, qui fait un suicide that blows my mind qui fait saisir, every time I think about it fois de lui, is Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. From Mork and Mindy. Um, from, um, a comedian. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. From uh, uh, Aladdin. Qui sort in Aladdin. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. From Mrs. Doubtfire. Qui sort in Mrs. Doubtfire. The one that made us all laugh. Même qui fait nous tout rire. So many movies. En pile film. TV shows. En paquet TV. Guest appearances. En paquet côté que le paraît. While he made us laugh. Pendant il fait nous rire. He went home crying. Il même la la cali a crié. And he went home et puis la, la, Kylie, and killed himself. Et puis tué tête. Depression, Depression causes suicide. Cause suicide. Mental disorder Mental malade causes suicide. Cause pour bien suicide. Schizophrenia, Schizophrenia. Personality disorders. On, on perso- on, on pile personality. Substance abuse. Substance abuse. Alcoholism. Alcohol. These are all factors that cause people to commit suicide. Suicide suicide is the tenth leading cause of death in the United States. Suicide. Suicide. For every suicide, suicide, there were 25 attempts of people that didn't die although they tried to commit suicide. One of the biggest and most popular shows on Netflix today is called 13 Reasons about a teenager that committed suicide and left different notes in different places for people to find to see why he committed suicide. There's a brand new show on ABC Na ABC calling uh, called a million little things about a guy de yon homme it was four best friends c'est quatre bons amis and one of the guys et puis une amis yo committed suicide yo tué tête li and these shows et puis shows ça yo have the highest ratings yo gen pi en pile moun kap gade yo that you'll ever find que wap jam wè suicide suicide although to some même les aquais may sound crazy li ka paraît li fou look at their life that is la vie yo their wife Gade madam yo. Or their husband. Gade mari yo. Their children. Gade petit yo. The car in the parking lot. Gade mashin yo gen de ki pake. The house. Gade kai. With four bedrooms. Gade quatre chambres. And six bathrooms. Gen six toilettes. That you have built back in Haiti. Ki yo bati en Haiti. That you want to go retire in. Ou vla retire de la dan. Cause Jamaicans are just as bad. Trust me. Nou mem janto. Nou mem jamai. In spite of all the things. En depuis de tout bagay sa yo. Six digits. Six. En pile moun. Supervisors. Managers, managers, pastors, pastors, preachers, moun kap preche, prophets, moun kap prophetize, people with with high moun value, value ki wo. 
degrees. Avec gros degré. Letters behind their name Let there know you. that are more than the name themselves you're plus que pour know you. have committed you're suicide. Suicide. Suicide, suicide. And I'm going somewhere. Côté. Suicide suicide has crept in the church. Dans Come on, church, talk back to me for a second. The reasons Raison that people in the church have committed suicide yo. in the flesh. Dans la chair, their reasons Yo raison. and in the spirit Et dans esprit, their reasons Yo by raison. I want to take a look Moi at some of the reasons a raison, people have committed suicide moun yo and yo. you'll find Et pour that the same things that are in the world ki nan or nan, in the flesh ou bien ki nan la chair, unfortunately has crept in the church li dans bullying moun, um, lo ap, lo ap moun, ti moun. Bullion has crept in the church. Some of our children or some of us when we were children were bullied. They made fun of us. They mocked us. I was always the last one pastor to be chosen for dodgeball. I never made the basketball team. So, so I understand what it is to be intimidated by people that have skills that I didn't have. But I found out that bullying, oh, this is where I get in trouble, takes place even in the church. You might not be able to sing as good as the brand new tenant in the praise and worship team. I don't see where he is right now, but we had a tenant tonight. I see, we had a male tenant on the praise team tonight. Pastor, all the times I've been coming, I have not seen a man on the team. Healing centers growing, y'all. Y'all growing in wisdom and knowledge. I, I see these things. You might not have a, a, a magenta robe on. You might not be able to play the guitar as good as Minister Ronnie. So because of these things, you find yourself feeling inferior. I can't dance as good as Brother Ralph. I'm not as good as the armor bearer as Brother Eric. So because of these things, we find ourselves feeling less. But I want you to know tonight if you don't have that skill set as the people that I call the ground is leveled at the foot of the cross. What that means is I'm no more important than you are. You are no more important than she is. They are no more important than they are. We are all one. We are all one. We have the same blood. We have the same father. And we're going to the same place. I wish you would clap your hands for that. But bullying seems to be one of the reasons people commit suicide. Depression is another reason people commit suicide. But I found out in the church people come to services and they shout and dance and they go home depressed. Because in the church world not necessarily healing center because I have not heard it here but in the church world people come to the microphone and instead of preaching what the word of God says or what the word is for that hour all sermons today says things like this won't he do it Ain't he all right? Est-ce que pas bon? Look at God. Gardez mon Dieu. Spin around three times. Trois fois. They now they come up. 
with different seed offerings. So it's the 11th anniversary. Everybody give $11. It's the last month of the year. 12 months. Everybody give $12. December 31st. Everybody give $365. I, you, I know I'm talking right. And they make you believe when you give these things and you spend that way and you spend that way and Simon says do this and do the hokey pokey your right foot in and stop they make you believe that by the time you get home the situation you're going through is going to be over and we find that when we go home and the situation is still the same it leaves God into depression. Amen. That's good. People commit suicide even in the church because they're depressed. And then there's something called mental disorder. People commit suicide because of mental disorder. But pastor, Mais pasteur, I'm not a senior pastor. Pas senior pastor. Let the record show. Tout le monde ça. I'm not chasing it down. Pas ça. I'm not running it down. Pas ça. My resume is in nobody's office. Pas office I'm good where God's called bon me. Côté bon Dieu le but I found out that senior pastors que en pasteur en tête go through things yo des because there's spiritual, Parce que spiritual mental disorder mental maladie ça. In the church. I'll pay my tithes today. I won't pay tomorrow. I'll sing on the praise team today. I won't sing tomorrow. I'll wave the flag today. I won't wave it tomorrow. This Sunday I'm in the front row. Next Sunday I'm on Instagram. And I'm at the beach. We find out that church folks they live life like the roller coaster at six flags. Dans six flags. They live life vive la vie, oh. like the water ride Même at Donny Park. Park. I can't tell if we're going up, si nous bras le if we're down, ou bien si nous en bas. there's a loop. Et si qu'on vire, we spin backwards, we go forward, and this causes ça cause suicide suicide. Amen. in the church. Dans l'église. Amen. You know when people have been diagnosed Les moun yo, yo, yo diagnose yo. with different disorders Avec and different sicknesses, Avec the doctor Docteur will prescribe medication. A pre, a medication. But if you've ever watched TV, Mais not Netflix, because Netflix. you can maybe skip through, pas pas not Hulu, Hulu. Because you can skip through. Not the bootleg show box that I use. Over oh, our live stream. Don't, don't arrest me. I see the guy in the uniform. Don't arrest me. Where <laughs> well, you can skip through commercials. But if you watch old school TV. And you watch the commercials. About medication. They tell you all the things. That the medication does. To help you. Then some nice music comes on. And you see some kids playing. Dancing. And getting dressed at home. Grandma's in the kitchen cooking. In the kitchen cooking. And, and everything looks nice. But meanwhile, the narrator is describing all these side effects, side effects headaches, and dizziness, and sore throats, and heart attacks, and strokes. But it looks so nice. Some of us have been taking the wrong medication. You have a house here with the, this is a hospital. 
hospital. Ça sont l'hôpital. As a matter of fact, it's a healing center. Where God has prescribed the right medication. But we'll go home and we're watching church channel or TBN or the Word Network or whatever channel you watch. With people, we don't know how they're living. We don't know if they fast. They have no covering. Or we'll, we'll get on Facebook. I know Facebook sometimes. I love Facebook. But I watch who I follow. Because there's so many Facebook prophets. They have a word. And pastor, I'm so scared. This is what I do. Sis, this is what I do. When I see a status that I know is not biblical, but it sounds good, I click on it and I look at all the likes and it hurts my heart sometimes when I see people that are rooted and grounded in the word liking some of this mess medication that's causing side effects so they'll leave the church they'll quit the choir they won't come out to the 11th anniversary because they've been intaken wrong medication that's causing outward side effects somebody say amen 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 so we said these spirits have crept into the church and now we're facing perilous times. Now we're facing critical times. But I came tonight to tell somebody that the thing you're going through is temporary. The devil will try to make you feel like what you're going through is your new normal. But I came tonight to tell you this pain you're facing, this situation that you're in is not your new normal. This had a start date and it has an end date. As a matter of fact, uh, speak Holy Ghost. If you go to the store and you buy, let's say, milk and you leave them, you don't put the milk in the fridge. You leave the milk out in the heat. By the time you wake up the next morning, the milk is spoiled. Some, oh, Holy Ghost, I hear you in this thing. Some of us have found ourselves in a situation. No situation. We found ourselves in some kind of drama. No, no, some kind of mess. You wonder, how did I get here? But instead of leaving the mess with the sun where the heat can take it, we preserve it. We are preserving our pain. We are holding on to our issue. We put it in the fridge to keep it safe at night so we can pull it back out. Oh God, the next morning, see some of you didn't get what I just said. I said leave it out in the sun. But I'm not talking about the S-U-N. I'm talking about the S. O-N. The son Christ Jesus. If you would leave your issue. If you would leave your situation. If you would leave your problem. With the son. It would be spoiled. Ruined. Expired. Unusable. I came tonight to tell somebody. Leave your issue out in the sun. 
The word of God tonight said from Romans chapter 8 for the for I reckon that, that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. This is the word tonight. Let's take a look and see how the Lord is speaking to us through this scripture pertaining suicide. The authorship, the writer of the Romans is the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul wrote many books. Ephesians, Ephesians, Galatians, Galates, and the list goes on and on paquet, of the Lord, books that he wrote. Livre que lui écrit. But theologians, Mais they doubted that Paul wrote que Paul écrit this book. Livre ça. You see, this book, livre ça, the book of Romans, livre de Romain, is different from the other writings. De écriture, you see, what happened is ça passé, Paul didn't just randomly write these, these churches Paul just levé et puis écrit or these cities. Ou bien cité ça yo. Thessalonians, Thessalien, Thessalien. E Ephesians, Ephesien. Corinthians. Corinthians. You see what Paul did, ça Paul, fait. Paul went to these locations Paul allait dans location ça yo. and Paul started a church et puis Paul son in all these locations. Dans toute location ça yo. Paul was the pastor Paul of the church in Corinth. De Paul Corinth. was the pastor, Il était pastor of the church in Galatia. Dans qui de Paul was the pastor, Paul était un pastor of the church dans of the Thessalonians. Dans Thessalonians yo. Paul started these churches. Paul commenced the Philippian church. He went from location to location to location, to location to location and started these churches. So what he would do was he would go here, start a church and go to the next location. But Paul would leave people in places while he went to the next location. And they would report to Paul what was happening in the church that he left. So he was able to write to these different churches, these different cities, and correct them. That's why Paul was able to talk about women with the head covering. He was the pastor. He had the right. That's why Paul was able to talk about different foods they can eat. He was the pastor. He had that authority. That's why Paul was able to say that brother coming to the church sleeping with his mother-in-law kick him out. He was the pastor. He had the authority. He was the shepherd. He had the authority. He is our pastor. He has the authority to give us the word. But Romans was different. Paul was not the pastor. As a matter of fact, you see, Paul, Paul let's talk about Paul. Can we talk about Paul? Paul? Let me help us. Paul, Paul was a Pharisee. Now I know that when Jesus was on the earth, he spoke about the Pharisees, and we often look at Pharisees as people that were against God. We often look at Pharisees as people that did not know the word. But the Pharisees were the leaders of the church, and they were good Pharisees. Paul was a Pharisee. Now unfortunately, uh, preachers today have given Paul a bad name. You see, because we know that Paul persecuted the church. Paul persecuted the Christians. But there was a reason behind Paul persecuting the Christians. You see, the Israelites, or for this sake we'll say the Jews, 
They came from a long way. They traveled through Egypt. They passed the Amalekites. The Amorites. The Jebusites. The Parasites. They passed country to country. And while they passed country to country, they noticed that all these other nations worship multiple gods. And they decided because the first first commandment taught them that they should have one God. So you have to put it in context. When Jesus came to the earth, they had a hard time not just understanding that he was God's son because he was born in a manger. To them, it was as if now there were two gods. So Saul so, um, Saul, who became Paul, persecuted the church because he thought they were worshiping two gods, but they were indeed worshiping one God. We understand that today. So Paul, Paul had good motives. His act was bad, but his motives were pure. I'm more scared of people in the church that are doing the right thing with the wrong motives. Don't you know there's some people in church today that will volunteer to lead the song, to play the music, to work the camera, to sweep the floor, to carry the Bible, to pour the water, to do this and that with impure motives. Don't you understand? Your pastor is wise enough to know that not everybody knocking on pastor's office means pastor well. You're not getting in trouble now. You better be smart enough to know that when somebody gives you chewing gum to chew, when somebody gives you leftovers at work, everybody does not truly love you. Everybody that shakes your hand, that gives you a high five, does not always mean you well. Sometimes People will like your status on Facebook, so Facebook just to follow the story. They just want to follow your life. I learned something. Not everybody that flips past your story, that looks at your status, that will give you a ride home, that will lend you five dollars, means you well. Some of us have been fooled by the enemy. We have signed a death warrant, and it passed under the Holy Ghost. Death and destruction. Le mort et destruction. Paul meant well. Paul te so now we found out that because Paul persecuted so many Christians he had to rewrite his story now Paul wants to go to Rome and minister at Rome but because he has such a bad reputation oh, that's a whole other sermon right there because he has such a bad reputation he had to do all these things to now show that he is converted. So when you live the life of sin and now you've been converted and you're going to strengthen the brotherhood don't be upset if pastor says honey sit for a while come to Bible studies don't be upset if you were the choir director at the last church and you come to this house and pastor says we need an usher at the side door not even on the inside on the outside don't be mad 
Madame. Ils vont fâcher. If first lady says, si uh, femme dit, come to ladies meeting, dans meeting femme, and what I need you to do is ça, pour faire, shake the people's hand when they come in. You fini. came to preach. You came to sing. You came to sing. You came to sing. You came to lead. Some of you came to be wonderful. But don't be surprised. Because there is a process. Parce que bon process. Amen. It's a process. Bon process. It's a process. Bon process. So Paul had to rewrite his story. Paul te de so Paul wrote to the Roman church Paul écrit à l'église Roméo to explain to them pour expliquer yo, I'm now converted there's no more condemnation Pas condamnation. he wrote all these things écrit sa yo, to show them that yo, he believed in Jesus Christ en Jésus Christ. but can I just talk for a second Mais que can parler? I teach for a minute Mais que I'm que watching the clock and la. we are going somewhere Et nous côté. but Paul also Mais Paul, wrote to the church in Rome because there was discrimination. I promise this is my last point and we'll dig down into the meat of the message. Paul didn't start that church. The Jews started the church. But because the Jews and the Gentiles were constantly fighting, the emperor the king Why? explained or no, the king Why? made a decree that all the Jews had to leave Rome and that left the Gentiles. They didn't sing. They didn't preach. They didn't lead. But now the Jews are gone. The Gentiles are left. They had to lead the church. But after time passed, the new emperor allowed the Jews to come back. Now we have two Two pastors, two choir directors, two dancers, and there was conflict. So God allowed Paul to write to Rome to say this. The, the gospel is to the Jews first, but also to the Greeks. So Paul used the book of Rome, so Paul the letter to the Romans, to bring peace in Rome. So he's writing to say, I believe in Jesus, and he's writing to stop discrimination. But smack down in the middle, can you say that? Smack down. <laughs> but smack down in the middle of this book that Paul wrote to clear his name and bring peace. God spoke to Paul. It's just like God. In the middle of something, in the middle of a mess, in the middle of a situation, he will bring you a rhema word. In the middle of something that you're going through, God will say, hold up. Let me handle this. So in the middle of 16 books, in the eighth book, no, no, livre, in the eighth chapter, no, chapter of this book of 16 chapters, no, chapter, he said, I reckon no, that the suffering no, of this present time no, cannot be compared. No, God has a way bon Dieu, bon façon, of operating no, right no, in the middle. No, you don't believe me? No, if you go to the book of Exodus, so I live, no, live you will see where Moses was leading the people, the children of Israel, to the promised land. And they came to a place where there was a red sea in front of them, there behind them, and the mountain on one side. And God told Moses, use what you have in your hand. I came to let somebody know you're looking for the word to come to the prophet. But God said, I've given you the word. It's already in your hand. And you are to use what you have in your hand. And God told me, 
Moses. Et bon Dieu dit Moïse. Stretch forth. Lit-il-longer de vent. Your rod. Et longer bâton. And when the Israelites. Et les Israélites. Stretch forth the rod. Yo mettez bâton. And walk right down. Et puis yo marchez entre. They walk right down. Yo marchez des sangs. Through the middle. Non mais tant. For God took the waters. Parce que bon Dieu prend l'eau. And he separated. Et il séparait. And he made the middle. Et il mettait, il fait mitan. Dry land. Il fait les chèches. But he didn't stop there. Mais il pas de camper là. What God did. Ça bon Dieu fait. He allowed. Liquidé. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. And his army. Avec Amel. To walk down. Puis au même lieu de sang. Right in the middle. Puis au marché dans mitan. Of your blessing. Dans mitan bénédiction. Of their deliverance. Dans délivrance. And that's just like God. C'est même ça bon Dieu. That's why he, David wrote. C'est pour ça David écrit. In Psalms 23. Dans Psalm 23. Thou preparest. Et tu préparer. A table. Yon table. Before me. And in the presence of my enemies, God could have killed the Egyptians back there, but he allowed them to walk right down, and they live long enough to see Moses and the Israelites come down and make it to the other side. Just when Pharaoh and his army made it to the middle, you gotta watch the middle. There's a blessing for the right person, but there's death for the wrong person. And just when Pharaoh and the army made it to the middle, God allowed the waters to close back up. God will work right in the middle. Can I give you another example? Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the middle of the furnace. Nebuchadnezzar said, "Did not put three men to die by fire." But I look now. Situation. I'm gonna meet you in the middle. So many of us are waiting till the battle is over. But a songwriter said, Don't wait till the battle is over. In 
the middle of clearing his name and in the middle of talking about discrimination he said I reckon that the suffering of this present time shall not be or cannot be compared to the glory can I talk about this thing we are living in a time of suffering we are living in a time of malice and hatred and poverty and depression according to the news not according to me not according to Yuki Washington not according to CNN but according to what I see the fact is you can't even call the police anymore the poor grandfather called the police just last week because somebody broke into his house with a gun and was trying to shoot his family and when the police came to the house they shot the grandfather we're living in a time where kids can't cross the street without somebody being on their phone texting and hitting kids. We're living in a time where you send your kids off to college and you only pray and hope they'll come back home safely. We're living in perilous times. We're living in sad times. But for I reckon that suffering of this present time cannot be compared. I mean, it's apples versus oranges. I mean, it's amateurs versus professionals. I mean, it's this versus that. It's trying to put a circle piece into a triangle. You cannot compare the suffering that you're going through now for the glory that God has to be revealed in you. You've got to understand that what you're going through now is only a set up for the greatness that God has in store for you. As I began to prepare to come to Healing Center for your 11th anniversary, I looked up in a Bible dictionary what the number 11 meant. Pastor, Pastor, I looked up what 11 meant. Hoping and looking for something that would have us running around the church shouting and dancing until our heels broke. I'm not going to mess with you tonight. I'm not going to but when I looked it up, 11, according to the Bible dictionary, it meant chaos, disorder, dysfunction, peril, sin. And I thought, God, why would you have me look this up? What is the significance to this situation, to this number, with that definition? What the Holy Spirit said is that, I'm not finished here, but don't bring me in just yet. We still got a little place to go. Simply said that 11 I'm not finished yet. Help my brother out. I'm not trying to go there yet. We're not done yet. We still got to get a breakthrough for this number here. What the Holy Spirit showed me these different things sin, chaos, peril, 
mauvais bagaille. This order. This honor. This orientation. This orientation. Is a there are spirits yeah, attached to that number. Qui attaché avec nom ça. Why Holy Ghost? Pour ça c'est des oui. With those things. Les bagages ça yo. Be attached. Est-ce que vous attachez? To the number eleven. Avec nom numéro onze là. If you have an a, a old fashioned clock. Sous qui on réveille ancien. An analog clock. Ou bien on réveille ancien. And you look. The numbers, like that clock right there. There's one, two, three, four, and the numbers go on and on and on until it gets to twelve. Twelve is significant because twelve, midnight, represents a brand new day. But before you get to twelve, you've got to pass. God help me tonight. Understand that there's a breakthrough. Understand that there is deliverance. Understand that a new day is coming to healing center. But in this 11th year, it's time for us to get our boxing gloves. It's time for us to put on fatigue. To get our sword in hand, we, we shall not succumb to sin. We shall not succumb to peril. We shall not succumb to chaos. We came to fight. We will fight, we will fight. and we will win because there's victory for the children of God. There's victory to all of God. And how do I get the victory? The victory is in the praise. If you want to see victory, all we've got to do for the next 12 months is give God praise. And every time the enemy shall try to bring chaos in the church, we rebuke it with praise. We rebuke trouble with praise. We rebuke disorder with praise. I dare somebody under the sound of my voice to help me put a warfare praise in the room right now. Hey. Take your seats real quick. So there's victory in the praise. So in this year, we are gonna fight tooth and nail. But what we gotta remember is although we're there to fight, the battle is not ours. The battle is the Lord's. When we show up, He will handle the rest. So if you want deliverance, you see, you got to understand. When we say healing center, there's a blessing for healing center. I'm not talking about this beautiful building. This building is beautiful. Every time I come, there's something new. Your pastor and the team has a great vision. And they transform this place into an amazing sanctuary. But this building is not the church. You are the church. So when I say healing center, it's going to win deliverance. It's going to win the victory. I'm talking about you. You ought to praise God for you. You ought to praise God for your home. Because there's victory. And there's glory. Coming to your house. Amen. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time. 
cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed. Let me leave one more point according to this verse and we'll go into our final phase of tonight's sermon. It says that the glory shall be revealed the suffering of this present time cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed within you. We stop at being revealed and we miss something so important within you. If you take a trip to Lancaster or, yeah, Lancaster. Lancaster. And you go to Sight and Sound. Et pour aller dans Sight and Sound. I believe this church have been to Sight and Sound Vous before. Aller dans Sight and Sound. You go to Sight and Sound. Aller dans Sight and Sound. You get there early enough. Vous arrivez là bon heure assez. I appreciate Healing Center. Je m'apprécie Healing Center. Church starts on time. Nous commençons à l'heure là. I appreciate that. Je m'apprécie ça. You get to Sight and Sound. Vous arrivez dans Sight and Sound. If the show time is at 7.30, si you want to get there around 7 o'clock. Vous voulez arriver là à 7 heures. So you're not one of those people pour pas, you know, mon sayo, that the usher has the flashlight que usher a de mettre toute lumière sur vous, trying to find your seat. Son place pour. You get there at 7.30 vous là à 7 heures, or you get there at 7 o'clock. Vous arrivez à 7 heures, you take your seat et vous chita, and you wait. Et vous tonne. And at 7.30, et à 7h30, on the dot, à 7h30 même, the lights start to flicker. Lumière commence à battre, and then the lights go dim. Et puis le, lumière descend, and the curtain opens. Et puis, um, cur, cur, non, rideau est ouvert, and the play starts. Et puis, um, jou, um, et puis play la Life is like that. La vie, c'est comme ça, lié. The Apostle Paul was talking about that. You've got to understand in this life, we said we're going to go through trials and tribulations. We talked about the present time. We talked about it cannot be compared. The apples versus oranges. She doesn't eat enough fruit, guys. <laughs> and, the, and we talked about how the glory is going to come. But let's talk about sight and sound in sound. the spirit realm. Oh, no, when you go to sight and sound, no, no sight and sound. in the spirit, on esprit, when I now go in my life no, la to the show, pour the show, first thing, bagay, you've got to be on time. À Saints, come to church on time. À Don't invite the Holy Spirit to come pa at 6.30 and you tip me to win at 8. Et puis, you at 8 I'm not saying I saw it. I'm, I'm saying what the Holy Spirit says. Ça, I'm not saying I saw it. I'm, I'm saying that's what the Holy ça, Spirit says. And you get to church Et pour and we're here on time Et nous, là, le, or we come in our life ou bien nous and, and we come to a place in our life nous nous la vie where nous, we come to a situation ou bien nous and we're waiting for God to move. Et puis, nous pour bon Dieu the first thing is this. Là, as I said in Lancaster, Et puis, dans Lancaster the lights go dim. Moi, lumière, when God is about to move le bon Dieu pour le in your life dans la vie, the lights go dim. Yo, uh, I already saw Spoke about the 12 o'clock hour. De midi, uh, 12 o'clock. Midi. It's a brand new day. Minuit, so but jour. if you look outside at 12 o'clock, it's completely black. A minuit, li Do noir. not let the outside tu appearance fool you what God is doing on the inside. Tu as fait down. Amen. Uh, you cannot look Ou pas at the outside appearance non, ap, and make a final judgment Et pour because final. God is stirring Parce something bon Dieu a bouilli, on it Amen. looks like it's not moving but God said I'm working on the inside I'm changing something on the inside I'm flipping something I'm twisting something I'm shaking something I'm moving something the lights go dim the lights are dim 
and it's time for the play to start. But in the physical, notice I said that when the curtain opens, the play begins. It, when the curtains open, you don't see the architect putting the things together, building the stage, painting. You don't see the hired help putting the couch and the chairs. When the curtain opens, everything for the play to be successful is already on the stage. And I came to tell you as I get ready to take my seat that God said that when I open the curtain, when I'm ready to reveal the glory, it's already inside of you. God said I've already put the victory inside of you. He said, I've already put the word inside of you. Salvation for your spouse is already in there. Healing for your body is already in there. If you're looking for the Holy Ghost, he's already here. Whatever you need God to do, he said, I'm already in the room. God is in the sanctuary. Let the earth be silent. God said, I sat down for a long time and I've waited. But now is the appointed time for healing center. Now my sister is the appointed time. My brother now is the appointed time. I placed you in the incubator because there were some things I needed to grow inside of you. God said I had you sit down for a minute because if you moved too early you would have aborted the baby. But now it's time for the glory to be revealed. Is there anybody ready for the glory? Is there anybody ready to receive the glory? I know glory is coming. You know glory is coming. But Satan knows that glory is coming. So in this 11th hour, he tries to put depression. He tries to put anxiety. He tries to put a spirit of failure and defeat over your home over your ministry over your education over your mind because he wants you to commit suicide but I came from Pemberton, New Jersey to let somebody know it's not time to commit suicide it's time to live I shall live to declare works of the Lord. All the worms destroy this body. Yet in my flesh somebody say I shall see God. Live. Live. Tonight I command you to live. I command you to live. Church I command you to live. I know it feels like you're not moving. Son, bring that healing. Bring that. Bring the, uh, bring the healing. Yeah bring it. I command you to live. You shall not die. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. I know it feels like you're going under. I'm just going to wave it. I just want to wave it. But I use this, this prayer cloth tonight. This healing shawl tonight. To speak life. Life. Oh God. Life. Life. I know you think you're going under. I know you think you're defeated. But life. Let me come down and speak life. 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 Your vision. 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 Your
Jacob. It didn't work out the way you thought it would go. I speak. Life. I'm buying every spirit of depression. depression. I break the glass ceiling for healing center. For healing center. I'm wrapping my fist in this. And I'm breaking the glass ceiling. And I'm on no shire. In the name of Jesus. Ah, the devil said this church plateaued. The devil said this church reached his max. This is where I get in trouble. But I hear, Pastor, I hear, you know what I wish? I wish I didn't hear you say something in your welcome. I wish I didn't hear it because the people will think I'm just saying this because pastor said this. But as I walk in the house tonight, I heard God say another campus. I thank God for what you're doing in the other countries. But I heard God say another campus in America. Another campus. And pastor, oh God, this is where I'm going to get in trouble. I hear God say this. I am going to make it easy. I am going to make it simple that you can go to the other church and preach what you need to. But God said, he, God, oh yes Lord. He didn't say I'm going to connect you with people. He said I've already put things in place. I've got people right in your face the Holy Ghost says that will hold down another campus. There's another pastor. Go on, pastor. Oh, Rabando I am elevating you. I don't know you. I don't know your denomination. I don't know how it works. And I'm not trying to offend anybody. That may be over anything. But you are more than a pastor. You are more than a pastor. You are an apostle. You are an overseer. And I am going to elevate you, pastor, to the office of overseer. Right here. Right in this region. I put in another pastor. Another person that's obedient, that's submissive, that's not going to try to steal your church, and they will hold down the other church, healing center, number, what are you, number five in America, on the East Coast. Oh God, I see God doing it. Send the property. Send the property, Holy Ghost. If you didn't, you might have already did it. If you did not already do it, send the property. If the property is already there, bring the cost down. Bring the rent down. Let the land open up. We are in the 11th hour. Oh, but there's a breakthrough coming. There's a new day coming. And I, you see, I've seen people do this. This is Gary talking. I've seen people do this. And it costs them so much stress. So much issues. The gas and the mileage and the tear and the wear of the body because they're pastoring so many different campuses. But I hear God say, sent, I've sent. I will reveal at the right time. I might be confirming. I don't even know. But if not, I will send. Send and I will reveal who, when, where, and I'm going to set it up, God said, in a way that you won't lose this crop. The church won't have to split. The church won't have to split and divide. I will anoint people in the new location. There are people that God has set up and planted waiting for this move. And I bind the spirits of the air trying to stop this word. Trying to stop this breakthrough. Trying to stop this miracle. Trying to stop this 
um, Sansa. Amen. Yes, Lord. We celebrate God. Nous célébrons mon Dieu. We celebrate God. Nous célébrons mon Dieu. We will not commit suicide. Nous pas suicide, nous. Amen. And let me talk in the flesh. Et puis toute parole dans la or chair. Or to the flesh for a second. Pour la chair. Your family loves you. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who this is for. Your family loves you. Don't even think about it. I'm talking about natural suicide right now. It's not in the notes, first lady. And I'm careful when I address suicide. My father, who's my pastor, taught us well. Because when you call when you call altar calls like suicide, and my dad is a social worker, Papa, I'm so he'll tell social you, worker. you pray, you speak in tongues, you lay hands, but send them to get help also. So I'm careful when I say this. I'm not going to call an altar call. I'll leave that on pastor to handle what he handles the best. But it, I don't want to say if that's you. It's in the room. I smell it in the room. I in the room. Your family loves family you. Amen. Do not do it. And you know, we often look at these words and we say it's for, it's for a young person. But I believe that it could be for anybody. Young, old, boy, girl, man, woman. Don't do it. Don't do it. But healing center. Healing center. The devil is defeated and God is exalted. We shall not die. Amen. We shall not commit suicide. And on this 11th anniversary, tonight may have been a night of teaching, but y'all better make sure you dance and praise and worship and don't be distracted. Because the big hand is moving. The big hand is moving. And it's about to be a brand new day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My brother, can I pray for you? My brother holding the baby. The one holding the baby. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our time is so far spent. I gotta get you home in time to see the 11 o'clock news. This is what I, this is what I see the Lord doing right here. This is what I see the Lord doing. Step up. Step up. Elevation. Step up. Another level. Step up. One more time. Step up. Another dimension. Another dimension. Another dimension. This is just olive oil. This represents the Holy Spirit. Just a symbol. It means nothing. There's no power in it. But I'm going to lay hands on you. Hallelujah. And speak into your life as the Lord says. God, I thank you for this man of God. I don't know him, but I hear elevation. I hear new level. I hear new dimension. And I pray, God, you will use him for your glory. Whatever you have for him, I pray, God, you will use him. We bind the enemy. We bind. We bind. Oh, God. Fear. Fear. Am I worthy? Can I do it? Are they looking? Am I qualified? Do they know my past? But God said, it's the time. Now is your time. Now is your season. And I pray that you will walk boldly in not anything in everything God has called you to do. I've got greater work for you, God said. Come on, somebody give God praise for this man of God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say Yes, Lord. We say Come can you come, my sister? Can you come? Thank you, Jesus. Stay right here in the middle. Your name no. is Victory. 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 Victory.
Victory. Victoire. Victory. Victoire. Victory. Victoire. Hallelujah. Victory. Victoire. Every attack. Tout attack. Because the Holy Ghost said there's been some attacks. But every attack that the enemy tried to put upon you to take you out of here. God said, I was setting you up for victory. I was building a testimony within you. Every trap the enemy set has been canceled. You've got victory. And when the devil tries to make you think that this thing is coming back upon you, God said, Victory. Oh, my mama, Satire. Raketa, victory. You look in the mirror and tell yourself, I've got. The victory. Victory in Jesus. My Savior forever. You've got the victory. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. I know my time is so far spent, but I feel there's still a little work left. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want you to know that we have work to do. We've got to get behind the man and woman of God because there's work to do. They say that out of church of 100%, 20% does the work. The other 80 just reap the benefits. Let that not be here. Let that not be here. Because this thing is bigger than Pastor Anthony. This thing is bigger than me. It's bigger than you. God placed you here in this location for a reason, for a purpose. And you may not know it, but God is breaking down strongholds right here. God said, I'm going to establish this church uh, in this area and beyond. God help me to be the church, to be the trendsetter, to be the example, to be the role model. Pastor, I hear God say, oh God, it's time to do some kind of seminar. There are some young, young leaders that need direction. And God said, I've implanted in you the way, the means, the wisdom, and the knowledge. God said, put together, I don't know if it's a teaching, if it's a seminar, I don't know what it is, but they're pastors and leaders, not even younger than you, the same age as you, older than you, that have been in ministry longer than you, that are stuck, and God has given you the blueprint to build a mega ministry, the way to get there right now, God said if you do that, as you sow into their lives, I will continue to sow into this ministry. And that is the word of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord. Can I just pray for one more person? Oh God. I see one. I hear God say two, but I just see one. Come, my sister. Come, come, come. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And my answer will be yes, Lord. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart, I look And my answer will be yes. 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 Your yes has got to be completely yes. Your yes has got to be in spite of what they say. I have given to you gifts in the spirit. And tonight, we are going to waken those gifts. And stir 
and stir up the fire. Et pour faire bouillon du feu. Fire. God didn't come, or let's say Jesus did not come Jésus down fini in the fire du fea, with the three Hebrew boys avec trois at first. Sa yo, avant. But when the fire got hot is when he made his appearance. He didn't speak to Moses. Holy Ghost, speak Holy Ghost. With the bush when it was dry is when the bush caught fire is when he began to speak. He proved to Baal his prophets, so to speak, that he was real by sending down fire. Oh God, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. And the funny thing about that, God said, this is for you. There was water all over the altar. Now, that was, that was to show all the false prophets that God was able to consume the water. It was for a good purpose. But I hear God say, there's been water poured on you. Water, water. Pour on you to wet and dampen your fire to put out your fire God said I am going to light you up with Holy Ghost fire and when I light you a fire I'm going to use you I'm going to put a word in your belly I'm going to put a word in your mouth I'm going to speak to you I'm going to give you a word for God's people God light a fire in the name of Jesus light a fire in the name of Jesus when I speak to you give my word the reason I do this when I preach the reason I say these crazy things is because I understand that when God gives me a word if I take it back home I'm putting condemnation on myself I got a wife and three kids at home my son is here three at home and if I'm disobedient there's disaster waiting for my house. So I must say everything. If you see me outside, I might tell you wrestling is real and it's fake. You meet me outside, I might say my car is clean. Don't open my trunk, please. And when I come in, I put these robes on, bishop. Every last word I say, I promise you I'm not making it up. Honey, God said, bon Dieu dit, if you keep taking back the word I give you to give people, you are removing my covering. Rock, I'm giving you a word. Ma bon there's healing. There's deliverance. There's breakthrough for God's people. Pour pour and I will give you, you the word. We think every time a word is, is for preaching. I'm not saying pastor should put it to some kind of minister's class. He said, I'm going to give you a word. You will hold somebody's hand. Victory shall be in it. You will whisper to somebody a word I give you victory. God said, family members, come to know me once you give the word I'm going to anoint you afresh come out of paranoia come out of fear we speak the spirit of boldness over you now that you can boldly proclaim what God has told you to say honey get up rise up and be free and set. somebody praise God with my sister right now hallelujah And this is the last I promise. My brother, I try my best to not call you. I try my best to keep away. I think I just convicted myself when I said that thing about my family being cursed. I try to keep away because you're already a mighty man of God. This is just so obvious. Everybody can just see it. So anything I say, it's like, you just can just tell. Because he has on a nice bow tie and these, these shiny shoes. And only real men wear pink. So it's, 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 it's already obvious that he's a mighty man of God. So anything Gary says, it's just the obvious thing he's trying to. 
God said, I've got greater work bon Dieu for dit, you. Plus grand pour. Greater work. Plus grand Things I spoke to you in the spirit that you didn't even understand and you still don't understand. But I have a word coming through you that's going to reach places you never even heard of. I have a word coming through you, my man of God. Mighty man of God. God said, I'm going to use you. God said, bon Dieu dit, you are shining bright in a dark place. No place qui fait noir. Darkness around you. Fait noir it feels like failure is around you. Échoué. It feels like you're stuck. But I am going to use Mais you in a new way. Façon, ça. People are going to think you're crazy. I promise, Pour like I promised my servant Même Abraham, avec servant I am Abraham. going to use Pour you. I have chosen you before you were born. I chose you when the circumstances looked like you couldn't Les be used. When they utilisé. spoke about you. When they tried to set you up and bring you down. I said, I will use you. God, God. Use him for your glory. Use him for your glory. Use him. You know, my dad told me to start bringing this thing around. And right now I'm using it as a sword. And I'm cutting. Cutting. Every trap. Every chain. Every yoke. That the enemy tried. Lift him up. Raise him up. For this task. He has a great task, my brother. You got a great task ahead of you. And I don't know what it is. I don't, you don't even know your name. I just see you. But God said, I got a great task. Stay connected. God said, you're already humble. And I said, they are killed. You've been accused of so many things. So many things. I'm, uh, 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 I'm trying to name these things. And every time I'm about to say something, another thing comes. Every time I'm trying to say something that they accuse you of, another thing keeps coming. I'm not even allowed to say these things. So he shot. Come on. They accuse your soul many things. But God said it was all a part of the master plan. You couldn't understand it. But it was a part of the master plan. Rama I fought the battle for you. I fought the battle for you. They shall see and know. It was the hand of the Lord. It was the hand of the Lord. Cousin, I, I, I know you just came, cousin, but come. come. Come, my cousin. Rata, sata. Come on, lay hands on this brother for me, JJ. Shata, na, ma, 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 ma. Let's rub his head, rub his head. Ma, sataya. Rusa. Ha, rasakaya, ma, hasha. Nimando, saya. Yes, ga, rasa. Hushamandia, na, na, ma, sa. Ha, ra, ta, 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 sa. This is the last one I promise. I knew there was no more. This is the last one I promise. I promise. 
But this is an operation. Ça sont opération. See, this is a it's a healing center. C'est de guérison. Some operations take five minutes. Opération prend cinq minutes. Some take a little bit longer. Et quelqu'un qui prend plus plus long. But there's surgery happening right here. Mais ça une opération qui fait Surgery, perform your surgery. Doctor Jesus, Dr. make Jesus it all right tonight. A fait tout bagaille bien, amen. It must come to pass. La fête. We tired for a long time. Fait mal pour un petit temps. But the vision in him Mais must come dans lui to pass. Il doit faire. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it must. Must come to pass. You went through all that for this, God's But at the end, it's victory. It's victory. When I started, I sang the song that said, "You may not know how." You may not know when, but he'll do it again. Healing center. Healing center. We are in the last 20 something days of this year. And whatever God said to you on January 1st, if it didn't come to pass, keep looking for it. Keep Speaking it into existence. Keep believing. You may not know how. You may not know when. But he will do it again. And this is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my seat, but I'm even as I take my seat, I didn't mention my wife is not here tonight. I didn't, I didn't want to say in the beginning or I didn't want to put any kind of damper on what the Lord had to do. But my wife and my children are with, are with my parents. My mother had a stroke two weeks ago. And she's already baffling the doctors, I must say. They told her she would not be home till a certain date. She's They sent her home with a walker. She hasn't used it. <laughs> she's being very disobedient. <laughs> But she's stepping out in faith. So just keep us in prayer. As we go through this transition. See, normally my, my, my mom, my dad would have, mom, mom, would have picked up my kids from school. And Jackie would have been there with me. Because we're spoiled kids. <laughs> But we're in this transition right now. Letting her get the rest that she needs. So just keep our family and our church in prayer. As we go on and do great things. We are your partners. In 2018, Pastor. And even 17, we've had a long standing relationship. Mount Bethel has not given Healing Center the love that Mount Bethel, we want to give you. And vice versa. We know Et Mark. We don't know nobody else but Mark and Ralph. Mark, nous ne pas monde. <laughs> and Pastor. Et Pastor. But 2019, we're 2019, partnering together. We need to come here and y'all need to come to us. And let's do this thing together. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Come on, put your hand together for Jesus, Mais amen. Come on, put your hand together for Jesus.